but they needed the win because behind them, Freiburg, as you mentioned, Christoph, they won 2 1 at Werder Bremen in uh, one of those games where Freiburg somehow just tend to do a little bit better than the opposition, and you're not quite sure how they've done it. But they do it very regularly. Did you yeah, see the game? Um, a bit. Um, they, they came from a difficult spell. They had won only one game um, all of the last six. And um, and overall, uh, people in Freiburg were not very happy with the performance of the team. So it's not as as smoothly going um for compared for example uh, to last season they look better last season actually but uh, as you said they are able to to grind out results a bit similar to, sometimes to union with the, with better players and uh, they were coming um from behind Werder was one nil up uh, without playing without niklas fulkrug um they are um, and the top scorer, uh, top goal scorer in the Bundesliga, and uh, yeah, and were able to turn it around. And I think that was very important for them to, um, yeah, to 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 for for their fight to to get into the Champions League because I think um, it's not. Um, how can I say? It's not unrealistic that. Uh, uh, Freiburg these days qualifies for the Champions League. No, no, I think it's very realistic. And that's testament to how things have been going for them. We used to joke that Freiburg would be in the Champions League, but I don't think it is no longer a funny situation. It looks like a realistic possibility and it would be uh, probably the, the crowning moment for Christoph uh, nicht, Christoph, uh, nicht Christoph, Christian Streich and his team to yeah, find themselves playing Real Madrid, Manchester United, Napoli next season. It's, it's quite incredible. 